experiment is designed to extract DNA out of a strawberry and what they did initially is they crushed the strawberry in a Ziploc bag and what that's doing is breaking the cell wall that a plant cell has and then the second step is we have this buffer solution which is mostly water a little bit of detergent and some salt and what this does is it dissolves the plasma membrane and the nuclear membrane releasing the chromosomes that are found inside the plant cells then eventually after the, uh, the detergent the buffer solution had enough time we're going to filter out the plant debris and what you're going to be left with is strawberry solution and then at the very very end they're going to add some cold ethanol and the ethanol is going to repel or make the DNA clump together then using an inoculating loop at the end you can kind of fish out the DNA so that's what we're doing I have DNA <laughs> Um, we just made some like flubber, it's basically fake rubber. It's made out of glue, some laundry detergent, and some water basically. All of the air equalizes, and then the energy from the air pushing out against the balloon turns into sound energy. So the new prototype how to make the Alright, so this right here is a robot we made using the Tetrix and the Mindstorms in the Honest Robotics class. We have this NXT brick here, and we bring programming code from the computer we have back there. And we put different programs onto here, and we can run them on here, and it'll perform certain commands. Um, we're showing them the embroidery machines. Um, they're, typing their, they're typing their name in, and the machine puts it through the thread, and it embroids it for them. So you, make, you do what he's doing, dry, send it back around, spin this, this spins to the next screen, do it again, again. Basically what we're doing for the kids today is we're just showing them how to screen print. This is called screen printing. When you pull the ink through the artwork, that you, uh, you have it blocked out, let's just say. So in this class you learn how to set up the screen, how to make the artwork on the other side of the classroom. This bunch, you learn Photoshop Illustrator. So you learn to take the artwork that you made from there, turn it into a screen, which then you turn it into a t-shirt. And that's, that's an assignment in the class, so. So right now they're working in Flash. Flash is a professional program that allows you to um, pretty much animate. There's also some coding aspects to it. And we also have um, Blue Jay for, um, which is our Java class, which is where you more start to code. You start by just coding things that you can almost do in a Word document all the way to AP Java when you start making your own games actually. Uh, so one of the things that we teach in physics, uh, one of our bigger units is, is about sound. And sound is a pressure wave, meaning that like it carries through the air by variations in pressure, regions of like high pressure, low pressure, and they usually come in succession. But it's a hard thing to see. So this tube, uh, at the end of this tube we have a speaker, and that speaker creates sound waves, loud sound waves, which create variations in pressure. <laughs> But they do not live mostly around people. They, they are venomous, but they do not live around here, so okay. I wouldn't worry.